welcome to Ask Women, everyone. And I have two major updates. One of them is I committed to myself, this is my year to get out of debt. And I did not realize that my guest today was certified in helping people getting out of debt and making businesses and also is a QuickBooks um, trained pro and teaches other people how to use it. So my um, goal is to use Casey to help me get out of debt because I'm like, this is next. And before I um, extended my contract with my day job for another eight years because I'm like, stable day job, what am I next going into the entrepreneur world? I am in debt, so that's the reason why I extended that. And then I am going to be working from home, essentially doing projects for my work. This wasn't my idea. This was their idea because they need help more than they need me helping one specific teacher. So enough of my rambling. I'm going to let Casey take it away. Hello. It's good to be Hi. here. So please explain more of what you do. And I know you just left the corporate world only a year ago. And so please explain more of what you do. Okay, I will. I own an accounting firm, um, and we do the traditional taxes, payroll, and bookkeeping. Um, mostly we do the bookkeeping on the business side. I help with some budget setups for um, both individuals as well as businesses. And we comb through the numbers every month, and that brings the – the awareness of the numbers of where you are and allows you to put yourself in a position mindset wise where you have the drive to put that money away to pay off those debts to do it in a strategic plan so that's what I do on my day job so what made you um, leave the pulpit world? What made you kick the bucket on the cubicle? Well, I um, was in a corporate job, and I'd been there eight years, and the company downsized um, and went from, I think there were 25 of us in the company, and they went down to eight. And so I was one to get let go. And... Um, I had that helpless feeling that, that I was just, I was very fearful because I didn't have anything to fall back on at that time. It was just my job. And I had a little bit in savings, but not a ton. And so I decided I never wanted to be in that position again. And so I started a side business and then I did go back to work um, in corporate for another three years and I wrote a book. And then after tax season, um, the comp company I was with decided that we needed to part ways, and so we did, and I went out on my own. And the second time when that happened, I didn't have that helpless feeling because I had my book, I had clients, I, I was more prepared to go out on my own. And so that's what really what forced me to go out on my own. Um, and then since then, I've tripled business, and things have been wonderful. Well, Casey, you have a new client because, as I said, this is my year to get out of debt after seven years um, of being in debt. And I will tell you right now, I'm committing to myself I will be out of financial debt. I'm giving myself a year to get out of financial debt because 
uh, carrying a student loan is an ad bad, but carrying credit card debt, yikes. That's just bad. Bad, 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 bad. And I, uh, as you probably know uh, by now, I'm a teacher, so teachers don't make that much money. So when you add <laughs> the credit card debt on top of it, it doesn't look good. <laughs> so Very I true. Promise Very true. Starting on August 12th, which is when I lost my biological mom to meningitis slash a brain aneurysm, I promised myself that I would get out of debt because my mom, God knows I love her, but my mom had the tendency of using retail therapy, shopping as a form of coping with not only her disability with with asthma, but my disability. And she would spend, I don't know, uh, over a thousand dollars on me. And God knows I love my mom, but my God. So that's the way I that's the way I grew up. So that's why I'm starting this project with you on August 12th because I'm like this is nuts. This is nuts. It is nuts. Yes, and I'm glad that you see both sides of that because that is very important. You have to realize that there's a problem in order to be able to fix the problem. And I um, clicked on your website, and I booked myself a free coaching lesson. And, yeah, we're going to do this. We're, people, we're going I to do this. I saw that. I was pretty excited. Help because um, I need to get myself in financial shape to quit my day job, even though, and make my books a full-time job. Even though I still have a day job, it's not bringing in very much income. Mm -hmm. And it takes a lot of your time and a lot of your mental energy. And so, therefore, you don't really have as much mental energy to put forth on the things that you really like, which is your book and your podcast and and things that you want to do. Exactly. Hello, you hit somebody on the head. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, yeah. I have a student loan debt and credit card debt, and I'm like, forget, forget asking my family. Forget. I just need to get this credit card debt and this student loan debt out of my life, out of my hair. And so this is why you come in to um, my life, and I'm happy that. You did at the time, and I needed it. I am too, yeah. With most clients, we start out with a um, an overall picture. We look at where you are, where you want to be, and then we come up with bite-sized chunk plans to get there. So it's not really okay. um, anything innovative, not really anything, like, magical, but – there's an accountability plan, and that's usually the key to getting where you want to go. I did it with my health. I I mean, I know that I need to exercise, I need to eat right, and then I can lose weight and I can feel better. But did I do it on my own? No, I know what I need to do. I just didn't do it. And so when I hired a trainer, then I was able to put myself – I had that accountability I, somebody else is making sure that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I know what I'm supposed to be doing, but to get there, I needed some accountability. And so that's really the ticket to getting out of debt. Um, and it's sad to say that of, of American people, seven out of ten people are in debt. They don't have and an emergency I, fund. Scary. I have an emergency fund. I have a trust fund. I have a mental sleep fund. I just need to pull weapons out of a hat here to get out of credit card debt and out of um, student loan debt. 
Okay. Yeah. So this is how we're going to do it. And I, um, if you had to be educated by anyone, who would it be and why? Um, I would probably go with, um, I want to say Tony Robbins, um, because I feel that he um, educates the whole person. I could say Dave Ramsey, and that's more on the financial side. Um, but there has to be a whole picture when it comes to um, my mental, my physical, my emotional. If you, if I can't work on all of that, not necessarily all at the same time, but it has, I have to have that whole picture. Um, so I can't do one piece of the pie and feel that I'm getting where I want to go. Yeah. Yes. Well, how could people find you and, like I did, how could people um, master their debt? And God knows it's going to be tough for me to master my debt, but I'm going to do it. I am going to do it seven years of grief and trauma, and that doesn't help with debt, especially when you grew up with um, a mother that liked to spend money that was her bad habit, and she passed it along to me, which, um, <laughs> Mom, I love you, but, yeah, yeah. I love you, but yeah, <laughs> you can't be kind of yeah. that along to me because no, and no, and if I need to put my uh, credit cards in a block of ice, I will, which my mom <laughs> did at one point, didn't help, <laughs> and so I love you, <laughs> mom, but you can't be passing along these bad habits to me, and my stepmom is the most she knows how to spend her money wisely. And so I have two opposite ends of the spectrum. My biological mom went hell on spending money. My stepmom knows how to spend her money wisely and has a full time job. So I'm, yeah. I'm reeling yeah. my own pattern. So now living with my stepmom for seven years, I decided, okay, this is nuts. I need to get out of debt. <laughs> yeah, it is a you cycle. Like yeah. You can find me. Yeah. Yeah, you can find me at um, KCLWilliams.com is my website. And I'm also on Facebook, the Casey Williams Company. Uh, so that's where I, you can find me. And I, I have videos and um, tips and tricks where I share on Facebook um, of suggestions and ideas of that you can implement um, for your own finances as well. And so do you have a couple of questions for me about anything? Well, my question, one of which you already answered, was how was your childhood to the financial side? Um, and how do you view that now? Um, and you've already shared that. So that was my yeah. one of my questions. Yeah. And my other question is, um, the what do you picture um, getting out of debt is going to do for you? Getting out of debt, well, getting out of debt is going to, number one, keep this podcast going. Getting out of debt is, number two, going to help me expand my company, help me hire a VA, and, which I'm in the process of doing right now, but um, I'm hiring a VA. I'm still going to hire, but getting out of debt is going to just open up new pathways to um, freedom. Excellent, yeah. And that's great that you know that. Um, we have to know what's the driving force of, of the goal that we're looking to get. Yeah. 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 And so getting out of debt will keep this podcast going. And I will keep this podcast going as I work 
on this podcast, you guys, and I will give you solid updates on what I'm doing because I'm part of the millennial generation, but I also have bad, bad habits from my past because my biological mom loved to spend money and she's the type that had her family's, had access to her family's American Express card. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's lovely. <laughs> she, um, her brother paid for that one and I'm like, okay. And I'm, and so, um, once I get out of debt, I can ask him essentially for my, um, if he can co-sign on another credit card. But because I'm in debt and can't even control my one credit card, I don't think it's fair for me to be asking him if he can co-sign on another credit card and until I get myself out of debt and we'll put a small limit on that credit card just like we did previously. But um, until I get myself out of debt, I won't be asking my family to co-sign on the credit card, which they'll say yes to because they'll love me, but at the same time, they'll put a small limit on it. But I need to get out of debt first before I go down that rabbit hole. Yeah. Yeah, it's always good to know your limits and, and to be able to control that. Yeah. So I that's what I'm doing and and you're going to teach me how to get out of debt and use QuickBooks and we're going to get this rocking and rolling, you guys. I mean you guys didn't think that I was going to come on here this morning with Casey and say that Casey's going to help me get out of debt. And <laughs> yeah, I have a seven six thousand seven hundred and eleven dollar student loan that I need to pay off before I get my masters in creative writing and then I need to pay off four thousand of credit card debt and do do that. And so Kate is going to help me do that and that's my commitment to you guys publicly and that's my commitment to myself. Excellent. 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 So yeah. we'll have all of Casey's information in the show notes, you guys. And Casey actually offers a 30-minute um, business session for free. I And Casey actually works on the weekends. That's why uh, we get, that's why I rescheduled mine because I thought might as well start this journey seven years after my mom died. And so um, the American Express will be nowhere to be found until after I get out of debt. The Air Mix signed off by my family will be nowhere to be found until after I get out of debt. And even if I have to use debit for the rest of my life, I will. Excellent. I love it. So, um, yeah, you love my plan. Well, thank you for coming on and sharing your story and um, let's make this project work, and we'll have all Casey's information in the show notes. For those of you um, trying to build credit in this millennial generation, don't do it like the way I did. Follow, build, um, build credit, and don't respond to this credit card office. This credit card office you get in mail are absolutely awful. I don't respond. My sister and I, my step-sister and I keep getting them. Don't, 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 don't do that, you guys. And learn from me. Learn from me how not to do it. And then I'll be, um, I'll be keeping tabs on this 
journey and giving you guys updates, and we'll see what happens. But there's a start to it, meaning that I need help getting out of bed. And we'll get you there. We'll get me there. Well, that's what Casey said publicly, so here we go. And I hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed another fabulous episode of Ask Gwen, and I hope you guys connect with Casey and um, we'll get me out of debt so this podcast can keep going. Thanks to you guys.